Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Goodwin Revival. We're going to spend the next three days exploring the sights and sounds of Goodwood. We're gonna to tour the paddock. We're gonna show some racing, some engineering, some things for sale. And right now is the start of the MGB race. Have a look at this. First thing I found, vintage BMW garages, a lot of 328s and early pre-war BMWs. The Carlton carriage, Rolls Royces. Wow. Look at this BMW here. That's pretty sweet. Taking a photo. Yeah, look at this BMW here. Wow, are those SUs? Look at that. This is where the Bristol engine came from. Magnificent 328. Wow, have a look at this. We'll just soak it up for a second here. I don't know if these are Oscars, Maseratis, I'm not sure. I recognize the Mercedes. All these specials here. This is simply amazing. Wow, life is good. <laughs> Here comes a BRM 16, one and a half liter. Woo! Just gonna do a deep dive into this BRM that made the most glorious sound on the racetrack. You can see here the V16, it's canted over to one side. I believe that's so the driver can sit beside the drive shaft. This is a one and a half liter V16. You can see the overhead valve cylinder head here on one side. Well, and I believe Godfrey was telling me, my friend, that all the supercharged mechanism is in the nose. So it says a really early girling brake system. You can see the three piston brakes there. It's, look at how wonderfully it's made. So jewelry. So here on this side, you can see the exhaust coming straight out. I think that's what makes that glorious note. And yeah, what an interesting piece of engineering this is. Expansion tank right up top there. Have a look at the cockpit. <laughs> look at the speed. Look at the rev counter. Wow. Yeah, what an amazing car here at Goodwood Revival. Okay, I found the MGB paddock area for the Levant Cup. There's lots going on here. And there's a special body WSM coupe here these guys are looking at. Kind of a streamlined MGB. So I get a front shot here. See the front nose on it has a totally different shape for the standard MGB, of course, right next to it. We got a lot of good MGB, so there's, there's four rows of MGB, so it's gonna be a big MGB race for the Levant Cup. See what these guys have prepared. Single Weber on there. 
B-Series engine, yeah. extra coil in there, right on, little battery, hiding where the heater would be. Yeah, lots in there of MGBs this year, wow. A little mini rolling through. Check your Mark II, minis are rolling out. See if we can uh, tour these in. Jeez, there's a lot of people here. Nice to see everybody all dressed up for the event. More MGBs, all with hard tops here, whole row of those. And wow, nothing prepared me to see this many MGBs today. I believe this is one of the Sebring race cars. I recognize it from the stripes. This raced in America at Sebring. I think, is this, I don't know what any of these cars are, if they're historically uh, significant or not. Looking around here, I think this one is though, or yeah, DRX 255C. It raced Le Mans in 1965. I hope it's the real deal. It looks like it is with Patty Hopkirk and Andrew Hedges. Second in class and 11th overall at Le Mans for an MGB. How about that? Wow. So yeah, pretty significant MGB here in the Levant Cup. See photos of it here, historic racing. And the nose that it had at one point, the longer nose, like the WSM. Wow, pretty amazing stuff. So here's the second tent full of MGBs. I think it's gonna be the rest race this year, the Levant Cup. And what do I see in front of me? A lot of amazing competition MGBs. But one down here, I think it has an info plaque, BRX 854B. It's a works MGB prepared by the competition department. I think this car has a lot of rally history. Isn't that just lovely? On the black wire wheels, the livery. Yeah, one fantastic MGB. Oh, look at the site here at Goodwood, everybody. Wow. Is this yours? Can I see the engine? Wow, look at that. Look at those big carbs on there. Holy. <laughs> it needs a weather should be running those. Yeah, you think it should run a Weber? Yeah. Wow, awesome, looks really nice. Good yes. luck with the race. Well, yeah, I don't think it's gonna do very well. It's basically a rally car, so it's not, it's not really a race car. Nice shapes here near Duke of Richmond's house. Got this GTO replica. The tourist trophy livery. Wonderful. Okay, this area here, I don't know what we call it. It's pretty spectacular. It has all the Ferraris that are going to be part of the 75th tribute. And I absolutely adore this Rogo. Look at that. It's a 365p Rogo. That's amazing. Short wheelbase. 
275P hiding in here. What a neat environment this is. A couple GTOs for good measure. It's a TR58. Guys, pretty amazing uh, works competition for R250. I don't think I've ever seen this one. I'm just gonna sneak in here. Oh, they just rolled all the other ones out. Have a look at this, everybody. GTO, 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 275P short wheelbase. Wow, what an amazing sight here at Goodwood. Amazing. Okay, they're about to kick me out of this area, but look at that sight, everybody. Unbelievable sight here, good one. I'm coming out. How about that? Simply amazing Ferrari Works competition cars. Lovely, life is good. Really enjoying this four cylinder engine. I think it's three liter. Okay, time to go to the motor show. Time to go to the motor show. Let's see what we find here. It's called, you can see the, the poster over there, the future of the car. So what are we gonna find? Probably lots of concept cars. Oh sure, a lot of people going in. What are we gonna get? Need some room here. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, how cool is this? Look at this, it's like an old motor show. Wow, look at that beautiful Aston DB5 with a new one in behind there. Wonderful. Really enjoying this Aston Martin stand. The new Valhalla there. That is one modern looking Aston Martin, that's for sure. Everybody's getting a shot. Wow, look at the paint. 
paint on that. Pearlescent. Okay, well that's visually stunning. What else do we got? Oh, the, a Pininfarina car. What I've never seen before. I think this is Pininfarina's attempt at their own supercar. Looks amazing. Let's see if we can get a, see that interior there. Look at that. Amazing. So what else do we got in here? We have a Range Rover display with the new Range Rover and a classic Range Rover. It's so well lit. Here we have a Volvo. This is the Polestar Precept. Who knows if it'll go into production? It's a huge thing. Wow. But yeah, that Aston Martin there, I think that's the best to show. Let's see the rear. Is that wow. Look at that Aston Martin. That is simply stunning. Wow, look at the aerodynamics here. Holy. Amazingly dramatic Aston Martin, that's for sure. Let it roll around a bit here. Amazing, wow. All right, well that does it for the motor show. Let's go find something new. Okay, we got the Ferrari parade coming around. Look at that. Got some fries pulling in. So I'm down here at the end of the track. The cars are passing by, they're racing just to my right. And here are a whole bunch of paddocks, temporary paddocks set up for display cars that do parade laps. And here we have some of the Ferrari 75th anniversary display. Uh, sounds like heaven to me. Wow, look at that. In front of me is the Fiat Bosses, Ferrari 166. 
Probably the prettiest of them all. Not sure if it comes through on the camera, but the colors on this car are green and the top is blue. It's a Luso Spec 166. Look at that, it's looking very original, very original. See this? Very original looking Ferrari. Wow. If I could pull over in the sun here, you can see the difference here between the green and the red color on the belt line. Wow, that is an amazing Ferrari. You just pull up here. What an amazing set here at Goodwood with cars racing by. Now this number seven car is really special. It's a competition for a 250 short wheelbase. That I believe was raced by Sterling Moss. Called the CFAC Hot Rod. This ultimate specification of the short wheelbase Ferrari. Over 200 horsepower. Yeah, this is the one to have. One SWB, very, very famous show wheelbase. What a wonderful line that is. Wow. They have little lights here. You come in the evening, I think these cars would look really nice, all lit up. So another CFAC Ferrari, 61 comp car. Wow. And an interim. So an interim is a cool car. These are the very first short wheelbase Ferraris. Well, they're not actually on the short wheelbase platform. This one's in Tour de France livery. And the real giveaway for the interim is this window on the sail panel. Yeah, wonderful. Two more competition spec 275s. There's no normal cars here at Goodwood. Look at this one with the stripe. Wow. Look at that. Keep moving down, moving down. Look at that, a shark nose. Grand Prix car. These were all destroyed, so I don't know quite where this one's coming from. And a Ferrari 246 SP. Wow, I think that's a rear engine Ferrari, probably with a V8 in behind there. But I'll just pull back. What a great combo these shark nose Ferraris are. Look at that. So the Grand Prix car and the sports car. Mamma mia, that's wonderful. They'll keep going down the line for 857S. I believe this is one of the first four cylinder Ferraris. And you can see the two bulges in the hood there. That's for the twin overhead cam design. And DK, I think this is DK Engineering's 500 TRC. And another beautiful 500 Mondial behind that. So, yeah, what an amazing display for Ferrari here at Goodwood. Bear with me, we might actually get a start up of that amazing little 166. Look how pretty and ornate it is. Wow. There comes St. Mary's. There's Romain Dumas and his big Ford Galaxy. This paddock is full of people. Wow. I just love seeing everybody all dressed up though. There's nothing like this in the United States. So I'm coming across the Cobras here for various races. Wow. A lot of these are for the RAC Tourist Trophy celebration. Oh, wow, there's a lot of Cobras here this year. Let's keep moving down. Oh, there's one in bare aluminum down here. Have a look at this. Wow. 
Look at that. I believe this is a dragon snake cobra, although I'm not sure. It is the dragon snake. Yeah, this is the dragon snake cobra. So it was originally used for drag racing. Has the wildest metallic paint job on there. Look at that. That is so cool to see racing here at Goodwood. Wonderful. TVR and MGB. Okay, let's keep going here. We have Jaguar E-Type, semi-lightweight. And a Lister Jaguar Coupe. Coupe, man. Look at the lines on this Coupe. Wow. What a wonderful car that is. And a, T and a Tajero EE Ford. Not quite sure. A pair of Porsche 904s. Oh, I'm gonna cut off. I found that E-Type lightweights. Oh my God, look at all the E-Types here. <laughs> oh, I'm in heaven. All right. So, wow, Adrian Newey's E-Type lightweight. A lot of people around these E-Types here today. Oh my God, look at all these E-Types here. A lot of these for the tourist trophy. Just sneak in and get a sight of the E-Types here at, at Goodwood. Holy. And we have another E-Type lightweight here. I don't ever see these cars, so it's a real treat to see them here in the flesh. Look at that. Next to a semi-lightweight. Not sure the history's on these ones. Early 1961 E Type with the hood open. Let's see what it looks like. So, what does a competition Goodwood E Type look like? Oh, still running carbs. This car looks remarkably unmodified. Wow. The only thing I can see is it has a lithium ion battery in there. Other than that, that's just pure E Type. Perfect. Look at the sight here. Wow. Oh my my, look at that, there's Cut 7 over there. Look at Cut 7, wow. Amazing. Amazing E-types here at Goodwood. And then we're gonna move on. This is a bit of overload for me. Aston Martin DB4 GTs. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five in a row. There's a lot of people here. Sorry, I apologize. I'll come in from this way. Look at that. Just pull back on these DB4 GTs. Oh, excuse me. Well, that's a pretty amazing sight. Now, just pull slowly to my right. Got a pair of Austin Heelys for the Sterling Moss Trophy. <laughs> Look at the Webers on this Healy. <laughs> massive, massive Webers. And now we're going to get into pre-war, the Goodwood Trophy. Of course, I don't know a lot about. We have a Bugatti here. Look at this, Type 73C. Wow, dual overhead cam, so sophisticated for its time. Then we're gonna come in here, we have an Alta. These were very sophisticated four-cylinder engines for their time. Look at that Alta. This is where Enzo Ferrari got the inspiration to make four-cylinder Ferraris. Look at the Alfa Romeo 8C Monza there. Look at the livery on that. Mind-blowing, wow. Look at that. Sensational. Then ERA, no e two ERAs are the same. Just poke in there, have a look at the engine. And an ERA GP1 from 1938. Look at that. Wow. We got more ERAs. How many ERAs do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ERAs. 
Grand Prix cars, all of various specification. No two are the same. Wow. Okay, we'll keep going over here. We're gonna end up on a really amazing Alfa Romeo. It's called a 308C from 1938. Look at that eight cylinder Alfa engine. With the central timing gear. That is simply sensational. Wow, look at that everybody. Now that's an engine, <laughs> incredible. Keep going here on the Maserati line, why not? 8 cm, it's another eight cylinder Maserati. 4 cm and 8 CTF from 1938. Let's look at this 8 CTF engine. Wow. Totally different from the 308 up there. The timing gear on the front. Automotive jewelry. Look at that. Look at those exhaust pipes. Wow. Well, that blows me away. Just gonna turn to my right here. We have more Maseratis. A pair of 6 CMs from 1938 and 36. And a 4CL here from 1939. Yeah, look at the atmosphere here at Goodwood. All these cars being worked on, pretty incredible. So, a wonderful Austin Healey 100S in front of me. And I'm gonna do this whole amazing line of cars in this paddock area for the Freddie March Memorial Trophy. So this is a 1955 Austin Healey 100S. It's the one to have, the most desirable, with the oval grill. Look at that. Fantastic sight. That's an awesome picture. Okay, next to the Austin Healey, something I've never seen before. It's a Connaught ALSR. I'm gonna assume it's V8 powered, but I really don't know a whole lot about Connaught. Beautiful, beautiful shapes. Very unusual wheels and tires. Look at this. Wow, it's quite the design. Okay, so what are these things gonna be racing? Let's have a look down the way here. Got an Austin passing through. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, so also in the Freddie March Trophy, we have this Cooper Jaguar T33. So Jaguar powered Cooper. Kind of built like a sports prototype car with Jaguar power. And there's another one beside it as well in bare aluminum. Look at that sight here, everybody. Wow. Yeah, really nice combo, these two T33s. I am enjoying that. So all as it turns out, there's a lot of Coopers in this class. We got one, two, three Cooper T39 Bobtails. It's almost a central driving position if not a stencil driving position. And Sounds pretty amazing. What a big banger that is. These big bangers are for the Whitson Trophy. So we 
like a GT40 prototype. Look at the line of GT40s. this Lola all apart. And there's still another row for this Whitson Trophy. So many cars racing here at Goodwood. It's pretty unbelievable. I think there's over 600 cars to check out. Got Lola T70s. McLaren M1Bs times one, two, three, four, five. Wow, five McLaren M1Bs. Horse rolling through. I think there's some McLaren Elvis here on the end. Oh no, they're McLaren Chevrolets. Wow, look at this lineup. What a sight this is. Three Aston Martin DB3Ss and some C-types in behind. Wonderful. 1954 DB4S, this is a works car. And so you kind of get an idea of the difference between the works car and the privateer car there, the different nose. Wow, look at this. Wonderful. We've got three Jaguar C-types, kind of in a scrum here. I'll be kind of quiet, they're doing a recording. There's four, C five C-types here at Goodwood, five. Amazing. Whew. Very, very impressive. I th think this one, maybe one yesterday, the Freddie March Memorial. Now we have a set of Allards here. Cadillac, V8 powered probably. I think this is a Le Mans car. Here, the first race just started behind me. Then a whole bunch of Fraser Nash Le Mans replicas. Bristol powered, I believe a lot of them. Now they have a similar car here in sports car guys. Two of them actually. Oh, a Millimilia and a Sebring. So it's the same car that we just saw with all enveloping bodywork. This particular Millimilia just has the most beautiful lines. It's just simply to die for. Yeah, what a great sight here, good one. Wow. Yeah, Romain Dumas won the St. Mary's there. By hair. Pretty nice lineup of Ferraris there, eh? Wonderful. 750 Monzas. This is the Ice Racer. It's very original with cracked paint. It's been historic racing like this for a long time. What a beauty. Another 750 Monza. I, I believe this one raced the Palo Beach road races with Phil Hill. 
And then we have the Ferrari 250 290mm, which is built up from bits. I'm not sure how original this car is, but it certainly looks the part. And then the Sega Ferrari is a recreation of a Ferrari made in Switzerland from parts. An independent rear suspension. Pretty unique Ferrari. I think it raced here a good bit a number of years ago in bare aluminum. 246S Dino. It's a V6 Ferrari. You can see the Weber's just poking through the plexi here. Wow. We've got 275 LM. Oh, sorry, 250 LM. And some amazing single seaters here. If I can get a view of it, we got two Lancia D50s with pontoon bodywork. So you see the fuel tanks are on either side of the driver. These are by far the loudest cars here at Goodwood this weekend. Look at that. And finishing up with the Ferrari one, oh sorry, it's a 212 Monoposto, one of the first Ferrari Monopostos. But just look at the romantic sight here at Goodwood today. Look at this, everybody. Amazing. Okay, you see that? 100 years of the Austin 7. Kind of the Model T for the British car industry. And for Goodwood here, we have 100. Holsters, chummies, Austin 7s, all sorts of amazing custom coachwork and innovation. Two huge long lines. I don't think I can show all the cars, but we'll run down them. Nice to see the Spitfires there and behind. Wow, look at this little Roadster. That's pretty cool. And we have a race Austin 7. Wow, look at, I think it's supercharged possibly. Look at that. Very cool. And the Austin 7 Grasshopper in front of me. Well, I know that because there's a sign. So you can see them all in a row here. Kind of shooting towards the sun there. To my left is an amazing display of Spitfires and Bugattis. Here's an Austin 7 with an aerial on it. I'm not sure. Or oh, RAF Austin 7. Look at that. I don't know if it's a tribute or what. Look at this cute little Austin 7 truck with Dunlop on the side. Wow. Another sports racer. And yeah, I'm going to pick up the pace here. I'm sorry if you're a real Austin 7 devout because I don't know a whole lot about these cars. This one is so sweet looking. Uh, Royson, I don't know, it looks like a special coach work, that's for sure. <laughs> See the car's racing behind me. Wow, look at the engine in these things. Tiny, sorry my shadow's blocking the way there. Yeah, well what an amazing sight here at Goodwood. I'm gonna think I'm gonna say it about a hundred times in this video. So I'm gonna pull back so we're on the on the sunny side. I have never seen so many Austin Sevens in my life. Okay, this one's pretty neat. It's an Austin Seven Swallow, and this is what Jaguar first started doing. 
Sir William Lyons had the Swallow Sidecar Company, and he was making lightweight aerodynamic bodies like this with the bullnose radiator on the chassis. Let's go all the way around here. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, that's cool. This is a typical trailer you could tow with an Austin 7, a lightweight camper. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, here's the Austin 7 that would tow it. That's a great sight. Wow. Look at that. It's like a miniature Bugatti. How sweet is that? We'll roll around here to the front of them again. Look at this. British Heritage. Okay, that's four minutes of Austin 7. End up on this skiff here. Wow, what a wild design this is. Oh, there's one more car that catches my eye. <laughs> look at this little aluminum racer. No one really does. Wow, look at that. Stunning little thing. Look at that. the outfield now maybe I'll find some interesting people but mostly on the outfield are vendors but I'm sure we'll find some amazing sites <laughs> so up here is the Duke of Richmond's house for the guests of the Duke and one of his guests actually brought David Brown's old DB3S coupe. There's a lot of people around here. It's a really special car. I actually had a chance to chat with the new owner. We bought it from Tom Hartley. And he's going to have it restored into its original hue of violet. Can you believe it? So this car was originally delivered violet. That's what it says in the build documents. It's one of three DB3S coupes. And uh, probably the most important one being David Brown's personal car. He has a lot of people here. That's a great sight here at Goodwood. Look at all the people. Wow. Wow, look at that. Berlins have really outdone themselves this year with the SU stand. Yeah, everything there. Apparel and caps. Look at all this. Oh, there's the jewelry right there. Look at these. Okay, Bentley. Fully restored carburetors. Jaguar Triple SU, remade from nothing, totally remanned. That's pretty amazing. The work that these guys do is amazing. So you can see the before and after. Try to get my reflection out of there. That is simply stunning. Let's go see what they have over here. Oh look. Probably triple SU for an AC Ace right there. Amazing, amazing work here. Wow, I'm in love. You've been doing Stromberg. Oh, I love this set. Have a look at that. Sorry, I'm, that is amazing. I love it. 
Oh, we got the big boys in here. Oh, sorry, just a bunch of reflection there. Sand casts. Wow. And another E type set. And of course, all the fuel pumps they make. These guys are such specialists at making all these finicky parts. Amazing. Yeah, a lot of shopping can be done here. Wow, even fur coats. How about this for atmosphere? Live band, dancing, huge American drag cars. Wow. Absolutely enormous. Look at all those tents. I don't think I can cover it all. Goodwood is enormous. Wow. Pretty amazing. Okay, well, there it is the 1960s car park. If the race cars weren't enough. Look at everything in here. A field of dreams. Wow. Need a hat? Wow. Okay, Haggerty have a truly amazing car here. It's this Pegaso. It's kind of half in the shadow. Do you see the color scheme on that? I've never ever seen tires like this either. Wow. Huh. Look at those tires. That is unbelievable. So what are we looking at here? It's a Picasso, which I believe is a Spanish make with a French coachwork by Sauchik. See that? Wow. That is a concourse car through and through. Well done, Haggerty. Yeah, I can't go by this tent without stopping. Jim Stokes is the leader in Alfa Romeo restoration and engine rebuilding. They have an incredible pair of Alfa Romeos here, a 158 Alfetta that they've done a restoration on, as well as a Lungo Touring Spider 8C. This is real concourse d'elegance territory here at Jim Stokes. Every detail, angle, line on this car is just sensational. To get an idea of how capable these guys are, look at the parts that they've remanufactured. So Alfa Romeo 8 seat cylinder block, differential, look at this drum brake. Beautiful. And the gentleman told me this is Donald Campbell's personal AC Aseca Bristol that they've just done some restoration work on. A dream specification Aseca, in my opinion, with the Bristol engine in there. I don't think it gets any better than this. Wow, look at the Smith's heater in there. That's kind of unusual. Love this car. You can see the restoration process here. They're painting it. Wow. Pretty amazing stuff here at Jim Stokes. Okay, I don't have any business with Twyford Moors. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce them, but these guys do a lot of leading Jaguar XK work here in England. Just look at this chassis and how well done it is. Got triple SU, XK150S specification it looks like. This is really neat. The air filter that goes in the inner fender. Wow. 
That's a wonderful sight. Yeah, VAS, cylinder head, so the real deal. And then the S models here, the twin pumps, twin square pumps, see that? Wow, that's really interesting. Wonderful, wonderful presentation. That's fantastic to see the XK150S done like that. We also have in the stand a 140 drop head, E type, and I'm not sure about the C type, but yeah, I just love the presentation on this chassis. These guys do great work, XK work in England. This is the biggest Bonhams tent I've ever seen. Wow. I haven't really prepared. I don't really know what I'm going to counter. But we can have a look here at what's available. I think they're going to auction these cars off later today. Lots of great Aston Martins. And oh, where do you go here? Look at this. DB24. In the blue. Just going to bypass these guys here. Cut in. That is one massive tent. Well done, Bonhams. Oh, wow. I'm going to switch courses. Look at this Austin Healy with a custom body on it. A lot of people are checking it out. I forget what it's called. Is it a Jamaica? I can't remember, guys. Sorry. Look at that. That is one seriously cool Austin Healy. It's a 3000. And sliding little windows here. What is it, guys? It's a Healy Jamaican. It's a Healy Jamaican, I was right. So it looks like the whole front clip flips up. Yo, yeah, well, look at that. Can you believe that's an Austin Healy 3000? <laughs> awesome. Let's keep moving. I love these Morgan Aero Super Sports here. Check our E Type. Austin Healy. BJ8 and okay the auction's live you can see the memorabilia here it's probably the biggest memorabilia auction in the world Maybe. look at that babendum oh, the luggage look at the luggage look at this box wow I'm in love with this luggage Oh, look at the Louis Vuitton box. Oh, man. Wonderful, wonderful luggage. Wow. Let's deep dive a little further. I love this Michelin man here. Look at that guy. Sweet. Got lots of badges and automobilia. A massive Ferrari F40 kit on the top there. Is that one fifth scale maybe? Hi. Uh, McLaren wing, rear wing. Looks like some amazing model kits. Wow, they do such a good job here. Look at these sculptures. Look at the kit there. Look at that Ferrari 312 PB. Amazing, amazing, amazing automobilia. Let's see, we got some cars here. We got a Jaguar C type. Not sure. Wow. Some bikes. Look at this XK chassis and body. It says XK150. With a C type head on there. That's a neat sight. And a complete body in aluminum, I believe. That's pretty daring to make an XK150 all out of aluminum like that. Look at that. It's pre-war MG. Maybe a K3. It's hard to see the signs are so small. It's a K3 replica. Oh, wow. Look at this Cooper Xerox they have on offer. 
This is a 1961 to 64 Cooper Xerox. You can see what it looked like on the stand here. But look at what's for sale. Look at what's on offer. How about this for some patina? Oh my God, the chassis tubes are cut. Wow. That's really neat. Can you imagine restoring this and returning it back to its original configuration? What a Herculean task, but uh, I hope somebody does it. Look at the way it's all welded in here and drilled for lightness. Wow, these cars at bottoms are really blowing me away. What's this blue car? What's this blue car? I'm not sure. I'll read it as I go by. It's, a, it's an Atlanta Bluebird Roadster. Look at that. It's Atlanta. It's wonderful. Holy. A couple of Rileys there. Sporting Rileys. And where else are we going to go? We'll just keep moseying down here. I don't know why I'm going to run into. Aston Martin DB. A Lister. And DB4 race car. And we can see they're auctioning off the automobile here already. What's this black car here on the stand? I think it's an Aston Martin. Let's just go around here and see what it looks like. Oh, it is an Aston Martin. It's an Aston Martin DB3. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, what a nice environment here it is at this auction. Everybody's dressed up. Got some amazing pre-war cars here. A pair of Bentley blowers. And I'll pull away to a, some sort of wild special. Oh, look at the engine in here. What is this going on? What is this? It's an Auburn 8-98 Aero Sports. But this looks really a lot like an aircraft engine to me. Wow. Thank you very Amazing. Much. Okay, well, that does it for my tour of Bonhams here at the Revival. I am really impressed. Well, I thought I was dead at Bonhams, but I ran into these two Atlantas. They're super rare cars. We never see them stateside. A 1938 Cabriolet, two tone blue, and I believe a 39 coupe. And it's such an amazing sight to see them together here. Just soak up the details. I think the engine is in these look utterly spectacular. I think they're twin overhead. Oh no, this is V12. It's an Atlanta V12, wow. Yeah. These were really, really beautifully designed British supercars that don't get a lot of recognition. I'm not sure if, well, look at the door panel in there. Look what these gentlemen are looking at. Wow, that is amazing. Look at the upholstery. That is amazing, isn't it? Is it a V12 as well? Yeah, it is, yeah. Holy. In love with these Atlantas at Bonhams. Gentleman from Bonhams is gonna show us what one of these V12s look like. Wow, look at that. It looks like a flathead. Wow, thank you. I can't believe it has a single downdraft carburetor for such a large engine. Looks like a flathead. Got the porcelain exhaust manifolds, kind of like a Jaguar. Oh, um, here we see the, uh, the chassis here. 1018. Fantastic. And another really interesting car. I can't leave Bonhams. Looks like a TR3 that was raced in period with a custom front nose clip. 33 DNK. See here at Racing Goodwood. Wow.
Looks like he's ready for modern racing. Well, the outfield was fun. But let's get back to Goodwood. Just a few people here today. They got the Graham Hill celebration here. These are all cars he raced. Oh wow, look at these sports cars. Got the bird cage there that I spotted earlier. So here we are, this is Park Ferme. These are the RAC TT cars. They just finished their qualifying. And they make the cars sit here for 10 minutes just in case they want to check out the specification and see if anybody's cheating. But I think it's pretty easy going. this 1963 looks like a wide angle head Weber's original rad big catch can over there on the left hand side wow Yeah, just beyond the Jaguars here for the St. Mary's Trophy is a real sight to behold. It's a Spitfire in bare aluminum and it's gleaming in the sun here. Have a look at this. Really stunning. Look at that. My God, that looks wonderful. What a plane, brightening up a bit. Holy. Wow. So coming into view here is actually a bar, believe it or not. Well, yeah, what an amazing sight here at Goodwood. Holy.
and some amazing Jaguars. We have, oh, look at this, C-Type and four WPD, E-Type lightweight. What an awesome sight here at Goodwood, wow. And uh, another Jaguar E-Type, ECD 400. But yeah, I love seeing that lightweight. And just pull around here for GT40, Mark II. See the engine in here. The exhaust manifold is what really makes these cars have a distinctive sound. Holman and Moody, probably 289. Big transaxle back there. Wonderful. 1964 Ford Falcon. Okay, I'm covering my V8s here, guys. And some Ford Escorts twin cams, a set of those. Okay, Ford Escorts. You guys into these Ford Escorts? One more look here. Oh, wow, okay. This is such an amazing Maserati birdcage. I saw it on track. It is just so distinctive with its striped livery and unusual bodywork. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, I'm in love with this Maserati birdcage. The sports racer next to it. Look at that. What is this? A Wilmot Climax. Look at the patina on this. Very unusual lines. Lancia sure makes a lot of noise. So the Sussex Trophy this year is pretty much Jaguar power. In front of us we have two Jaguar powered listers. One's called the Nobly, one's called the Costin. It's kind of the same idea, but the Costin has an all enveloping body. And then very similar Chevrolet powered Lister. So really neat trio there of Listers. Wow, what a wonderful sight at Goodwood. I just love these wooden paddock areas. You guys are working on the rear end. Okay, I'll pull out of here. And we'll see two Jaguar Cooper T38s from 1957 and 55. These are cars we never see stateside. And then down at the end here we have two Works D-Type long nose race cars from 1955. These both raced the 55 Le Mans, and the one on the right is the overall winner with Hawthorne and Webb, although that was only after the tragic accident and the Mercedes retired. I think we're looking at XKD 506 and XKD 505. Wonderful, wonderful sight here at Goodwood. All right, 
there it is, the lineup for the second Tourist Trophy race. This is pretty much the end of the Goodwood Revival. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have. Touring the behind the scenes. Again, if you want to see the race scene, check out GoodwoodRoadandRacing.com. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.